Hi there. We all prepare and enjoy food, whether it's for camping, fishing, home cooking, picnics, or at the cottage. Personally, I always keep a kettle in my car, next to my fishing gear. This kettle is pretty neat, it has an extra bowl and more room for liquid. A mug is always ready to be used, and I also pack dry alcohol and matches as fuel. It's always useful for fishing trips to have a small stand for fuel in your kit. This amateur design stand gets the job done. Tablets of dry alcohol provide the fuel. Interestingly, chemist Alexander Butlerov invented them in the year 1860. These matches, known as hunting matches in the past, are windproof. In my younger years, they were highly prized possessions, valuable beyond measure. They were quite fascinating, with a captivating flame that could mesmerize for hours. It's a type of fuel referred to as dry alcohol, yet it contains no actual alcohol. However, it is important to note that this fuel is not as miraculous as it may seem. The fuel is made by compressing urotropine and a small amount of paraffin. It's all just a hoax. Wouldn't it be great to have a high-energy fuel available at all times, wherever you go, without the need to purchase it? Imagine being able to create it yourself with readily available, low-cost ingredients. Several recipes exist, so let's give it a try and see how amazing this fuel can be. Why not experiment with using eggshells to make this fuel? You will need 400 milliliters of vinegar that is 10% acidic. Since I have vinegar that is 70% acidic, you will need to add about 60 grams of it. Then, add regular water until the volume reaches around 400 milliliters. Remember to clean and dry them first. Now, use eggshells that were saved from being thrown away. My spouse thought I was insane. Based on my calculations, the shells need approximately 40 grams. However, to increase the concentration, I added the remaining amount. Next, I randomly ground the shells and placed them in a 10% acetic acid solution. The reaction started immediately and was even audible. The reaction continued for hours, and I stirred it periodically. Friends, I am going to distract you for a minute. On my channel I do various unusual and interesting projects that you won't see anywhere else but on my channel. I have already published many interesting videos and I will publish even more. I have made many different unusual stove designs that you have not seen before. Even a stove powered by steam from water, using an interesting law of physics called a jet pump. I made a pulley for a motor shaft out of old empty soda cans without using a lathe. A powerful multi-fuel burner that turns liquid fuel into gas without electricity. A camping knife that glows continuously at night without the use of a power source. I photograph amazing and interesting experiments. A jet stove with electronic fuel ignition that can work without a chimney. Sometimes I film amazing physical phenomena that we don't notice. I made a catalytic heater out of improvised things, it can also be called an alcohol heater. I also made a convection heater out of a pipe that has never been seen before that heats up to 176 degrees Fahrenheit. I try to make all projects unique, swirl camping stove and swirl glass rocket fireplace. A stove with no bottom or lid, with through burning inside the chimney, it looks like a wood burning stove. And much, much more. I am always happy to see you on my channel and happy to give you good mood in my videos. I love my hobby. I will share my experience with you and surprise you with non-standard methods of making, using unusual materials, surprise you with new ideas. All full videos of all my projects are already published on my channel. Let's go back to the project. Let's continue. The second batch of liquid is a little bubbly. To remove any debris, I filtered it through multiple medical bandages. The clarity isn't perfect and it's a bit hazy. 
It might help to remove excess moisture afterward to saturate the solution, but I'll pour it this way anyway, it's an experiment. My initial test used a three-year-old grape juice alcohol. I combined everything, but I'm not sure what I expected since it's only at 40%. Anyhow, the first test didn't work. I'll try testing it with isopropyl alcohol in portions. Unfortunately, I don't have acetone, which would have been suitable too. Therefore, I'll use isopropyl alcohol for the test. And you can quickly spot something in the cup. Whoa! The alcohol transformed into solid gel. You can hold and maneuver it, and I even attempted pressing it a very uncommon sensation. It's similar to snow. Can you imagine making snowballs like this? However, it's not what I intended in terms of cost. I'm trying it now in a large bowl with the same isopropyl alcohol. Snow appears instantly. Later tonight, we'll fully test the fuel. It would be neat to store it in a plastic bottle or sealed iron jar. The can itself can also function as a burner. It can be used as fuel for cooking or heating, or as kindling for a campfire. It doesn't produce smoke, doesn't leave an oily residue, and has no gasoline odor. It's simple to make and has good energy. Let's test it out. Prior to testing, I partially evaporated the solution in a metal cup. The outcome is remarkable. The fuel is denser and less likely to absorb moisture. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please share it. With your friends, they will surely appreciate it. You can find all the helpful links in the description and top comment section. By the way, the channel has videos that you may not have seen yet. The small piece, about the same volume as a pill, burned for about 10 minutes as well, but with much more heat output. The large piece in the can, I didn't wait for it to burn all the way out. After 40 minutes I put it out and it felt like it would have burned just as long. The topic of this fuel is extensive, with various uses and applications. You can effortlessly produce it at home in large amounts, which can come in handy for cooking or warming up. Wishing you and your loved ones good health and kindness. Thank you for viewing the video. Goodbye. See you on the channel.